imagine two cities on Earth that are perfect carbon copies of each other and are both completely closed off from everything around them. They don't know what's outside of their city walls because, to them, the city is the only thing that exists. However, the cities have one difference. In the first city, let's call it the selfish city, whenever someone gets a great idea, they keep it a secret and they only work on it themselves due to their fear of getting their ideas stolen and other people taking all of their glory. While in the second city, let's call this one the social city, when someone gets a great idea, they work on it for a bit, but they don't keep it completely secret. They discuss it freely with others, combine their ideas together, and get the benefit of feedback without caring too much if their idea will get stolen. If both cities started at the same exact level of technology, and you traveled 100 years to the future, which city would be more developed? I'll give you a little hint. It's probably the social city. The selfish city might have made some technological changes, but the social city could be so different that you wouldn't even recognize it. Now, why is that? It all has to do with the idea of the adjacent possible, which was popularized by Stephen Johnson, the author of the book Where Good Ideas Come From. The adjacent possible is the concept of all of the possible places or states we can get to from where we're currently at. That's a bit of a mouthful, so here's an example. If humans just discovered fire, the adjacent possible could be cooking meat on the fire to make it taste better and stay edible longer, using fire to communicate, or smelting stuff on the fire to create tools to make hunting easier. You can imagine the adjacent possible as a house that gets bigger every time you open a door. You open a door, which represents a new idea, and you see a room with many new doors that lead to places that have not existed before and that you couldn't reach from where you started from. Now, it's unlikely but possible that you can find a shortcut between two rooms that no one else has found before, and that might result in an idea that is 10, 20, or even 50 years ahead of its time. But the issue with that idea is exactly that it's ahead of its time. More often than not, those ideas end up being short-term failures because no one else understood their importance. Imagine if you invented a computer in the early 19th century. That's exactly what a guy named Charles Babbage did. He had an idea for an analytical engine that was basically a mechanical computer. However, he had no way of building it, and his invention was all but forgotten until the 20th century when his genius was rediscovered. Now let's go back to our cities. The idea of the adjacent possible means that the more people know of an idea, the more connections they can make with the other ideas, and the faster they'll create new breakthroughs, which means more ideas and even more breakthroughs, which creates a wider and wider adjacent possible. The exponential progress that can happen due to the sharing of ideas is incomprehensible to the human mind if you compare it to the linear or non-existent progress of withholding ideas due to the fear of theft. Now, what does the idea of the adjacent possible mean for you? Well, we all live in our own adjacent possible. Our relationships, skills, and organizations all have their own versions of it. The more people you know, the larger your adjacent possible is for potential friendships, business partners, and even soulmates. If you only have five friends, and each of them have five friends, then the adjacent possible for the number of people you might be introduced to next is somewhat small. But let's say you have 10 friends, and each of your friends has 15 friends, then the adjacent possible for new introductions is much larger. The same thing applies to your skills. If you're not the best with computers, then creating your own website probably isn't in your adjacent possible. However, you can go from being bad with computers to understanding the steps required to create a website, to creating a simple site, and then to creating a site from scratch, which then can lead to freelancing work, potentially quitting your job, or getting a higher paying one. The choice is yours. Will you keep expanding your adjacent possible, or will you stay stuck in time? Please subscribe for more impactful and entertaining videos, and if you're already subscribed, thank you for joining me on this journey of self-improvement. Also, remember to leave a like to let me know what videos to create in the future, and comment below if you have any questions or comments. I will always do my best to respond to all of them.